You know, I think fans have wanted a deeper dive into Natasha Romanoff's past because she's quite a, like a mysterious character. It's almost like in some ways she's more vulnerable than the other Avengers because she's just a human, an advanced human. Um, but in some ways she keeps her cards so close to her chest that she, it, it, she's very mysterious. And so I think that elicits a lot of interest. How do I feel about joining the MCU? I mean, excited, first word comes to my head. But it's a bit daunting, honestly. It's a bit intimidating, but you know, at the same time, it's thrilling because the fans are so connected to the world. They're so well versed in, in the universe. So I'm just glad to be playing a part in it. So I play character Rick Mason, and he kind of helps Natasha, kind of like a fixer, like anything she needs. She needs a plane or a passport kind of guy because hook her up but there is a kind of chemistry between them which kind of belies a past um and and it's a bit mysterious about what their past connection is he's obviously got a soft spot for her who wouldn't well kate shortland our esteemed director has done a lot of kind of <clears throat> these indie movies which kind of have this tension and pace but are still kind of quite intimate and nuanced in terms of character relations and she brings all that kind of to this Marvel universe, this kind of author directorship to this big franchise. And it's just such a wonderful blend. Uh, I think it's really special what she's created. I hope audiences watch this and just have a great time. I mean, obviously it's a film about family, the family you have, the family you find. It's about forgiveness, it's about sisterhood. Um, but it's also just a riot. There's some great humor in it. And so I, I just, I can't wait pe for people to have this experience of coming out, watching a movie again in the cinema, watching it at home, getting some more Marvel again. I'm done running from my past.